Hey, this is Chris Menard. Today I'm going to discuss array functions in Microsoft Excel. And I'll show you diff several different reasons to use them. Let's start off with an easy one. I got a list of products, orders, the price, and I want to know the total. I'm going to simply highlight this range. And that's going to be equals B2 to B8 times C2 to C8. And to put in an array function, you must use the keyboard and it's control, shift, and enter. And you can always tell an array function, if you look up in your formula bar, it will have braces around it. So one advantage of that, one advantage of using array functions, if I try to delete D3, I can't because it's part of the array. And here's another one for you. An array function will do multiple calculations in a single cell. So I want to know what's this total. So I could come over here and auto sum, but I want to use an array function as a check figure. So this time it's equals sum this range times this range. Because I did equal sum, control shift enter. I got 272. Let's test it. If I highlight these numbers, 272. So now watch this one. Another feature of array functions, I'm on number four over in my little notes right here. I'm just making this up. I want to know, I want to sum up the top three orders. So 100, 127 is what I should end up with. I'm going to do it right here equals sum then I'm going to put in the large function this range comma open brace I'm looking for the top three so I'm going to do a one comma two comma three close the brace and just press enter I got 127. There's my formula up in the formula bar. Let's test it. Let's make this one, I'm going to change two numbers. We'll leave the 100 at the bottom. Let's go 200 and 300 and we have 600. So that is working. That is number four. Those are called array constants. There is an array function with control shift enter. And there's an array function. I'm not done. If you're a fan of count if, you're going to want to see this one. Let me go to another worksheet at the bottom here. And here's my data. This is really simple. I put in the ending week for 2018. So if I, and then I put in the number of orders we had. So I just made this up. But I should have 52 weeks if I scroll down. Let's make sure I do. Yep, because I got a header row. So if I want to know how many orders we had between 0 and 20, count if B2 through B53, I'm going to make that absolute reference, comma, and what's my criteria? I'm looking for less than or equal to 20. I got seven orders. There's the formula again. Now this one may be new for you. Now I need to count between 21 and 40. So I just typed in this text, by the way, over here, just to be clear about that. I didn't do anything special. So this one, count if is actually no good. I'm going to do count ifs with an S. And then my range is still B2 through B53. Make it absolute reference, comma, Notice it says criteria one on my screen. Well, I'm looking for, in quotations, greater than or equal to 21, comma. It says criteria range two. It's still B2 through B53, absolute reference it, comma. And this time, what am I looking for? Less than or equal to 40. So I'm using a count ifs with an s in it to do a between. And let's see if I get, I got nine. There's my formula again. 
Let's go test these two numbers right here. Let's just do a sort, smallest to largest. Less than 20. There's 7 down in my here. And then 21 to 40. I got 9 and I got 9 here. So what I could do is I could keep going on 41 to 60, 61 to 80, 81 to 100, and then the last one will be over 100. But as you can see, that's going to be a lot of work. I could copy that formula down since it's absolute reference, but I would have to edit it once, twice, three, and then do another formula. That's just a lot of work. Let's use an array function to get away with count ifs. So I'm going to say 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So basically what I'm saying is less than 20, 21 to 40, 41 to 60. And then I'm going to select this range here because it's an array function. Remember, an array function will do multiple calculations in multiple cells also. Equal symbol. It's the frequency function. B2 through B53, absolute reference, comma. Watch this. I'm picking up that empty cell because that's the over 100. And then, once again, it's an array function, so you must do Control-Shift-Enter. There are my answers. By the way, they're still selected, and the sum is 52, because I got 52 weeks. So there you go. That's the over 100 right there. That is 81 to 100. Anyway, there's the frequency function. There's count ifs. I prefer the frequency function. If you need Microsoft, Excel, or Microsoft Office training, please give me a call or contact me. Thank you for your time.